Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today we're going to be looking at uh, creating a procedurally generated ladder. Now, um, the way we're going to do this is quite similar to the way that we've done the previous procedural generation tutorials, um, like with the vertical wall, uh, but just uh, doing a few different things, manipulating um, kind of the indices and kind of showing you some more of the power that you can do with procedural generation. So, uh, just a quick look at what we're going to be doing. Uh, we're going to be making this little kind of ladder thing. It's got like a top and a bottom and kind of some middle sections. And basically, um, as the pieces increase, right, it'll kind of add little connector pieces in between. And, you know, it'll make sure that this top one's always at the top and this bottom piece is always at the bottom. And uh, so, yeah, kind of cool stuff like that. So um, let's get to it. All right. So first off, I've created some kind of basic models to use for each of um for kind of the pieces that we'll need and I'll make these available to you guys soon on our website um, and uh, they're kind of poorly made because <laughs> I'm not the best modeler but uh, they they work for our purposes so uh, let's go ahead and actually create the blueprint now so we're gonna right click in the content browser go to blueprint class and create an actor and we'll call this BP underscore ladder oops that's still not ladder there we go we'll open it up now you're going to see a scene, like a default scene root in here, and I'm going to get rid of that just because I don't like them. So I'm going to add a scene component. I'm going to call it root, and drag it and replace it, just like that. So now we've got a clean scene to work with. Now, um, unlike the other procedural generation tutorials we've been doing, we are going to um, change up the meshes that we add. All right, so. We're going to use. We're still going to be using uh, instant static meshes, but this time we're going to use four different types. So let's add a component called Oops, instant static mesh. We will call this um, ladder straight because this will be the you know kind of the regular straight piece. Let's add another one called ladder uh, bottom, or let's do ladder attach next. Not that it really matters. Um, add another one called ladder bottom and we'll add one more called ladder top now just like their name implies you know we're gonna go to the static mesh in the details panel and select the mesh that corresponds with each of those so we'll go ahead and add it um, and I already have it kind of here so ladder straight I'm gonna choose that one for ladder attach I'm gonna do ladder attach for ladder bottom I'm going to do ladder bottom, and of course, for ladder top, we'll do ladder top. Okay, so we've got those made. Um, next, we are going to go to the construction script because this is where we're going to be doing the you know procedural generation. So um, first, though, let's go ahead and create some variables. Um, we're going to need two for this, and the first one is going to be called um, number. Let's call it number ladder meshes z kind of a long name but it's descriptive and you know what it does um, it's the number of meshes ladder meshes in the Z direction all right so pretty self-explanatory I guess um, next we're gonna add one called mesh height and this will be the height of each of our individual ladder meshes now one thing to note about um, all these meshes that I've created is they're all the same height all right now that's kind of important in this procedural generation because um, if they aren't all uniform, or at least kind of the same dimensions in whatever direction you want to kind of create them in, it's going to be a lot more difficult to kind of line them up correctly, at least easily, I guess. You can still do it, but it's going to be harder. Um, so all of mine uh, are currently uh, 30, um, 30 units tall, so if I like open one up, you can see the approximate size, and this is the length, width, and height, so we want this number. This is 30. Um, and all the other ones are the same. So we can go ahead and set our mesh height to 30. And for the number of ladder meshes Z, let's set this to like a default of 3. All right. So how we're going to do this now is we're going to use something called a for loop. And basically that does some kind of functionality for um, all the, like for however many times you want it to do it. Okay, so we'll drag off and we'll say for loop. All right. First index, we want it to be 0. And now for last index, we're going to drag in our number ladder meshes Z, get it, and say minus, so integer minus 1. All right, just like that. And that just makes this number on a zero-based kind of counting scale um, 
Yeah. Okay. So next what we're going to do is we're simply going to add an instance of our ladder straight um, for you know each of these indexes or indices. So we'll drag off and we'll say add instance if I can spell right add instance ladder or it's not working for me. Um, I'll just drag it out and I'll drag off and say add instance. Okay. So we'll drag it out like this a little bit, create some space. And I'm going to hook this up. And now you can see it's taking in a instance transform. And basically what that means is it wants us to tell it where we want to, you know, where in the world we want to place our instance. So I'll drag off of this and I'm going to say make transform. All right? And we're not actually concerned with the rotation or scale, so we only want to uh, you know, change the location. So uh, we'll drag off and we'll say make vector and that breaks up the location into um, an X, Y, and Z coordinate for us. So um, now if, you, you know, if you've been following along the previous tutorials, you might recognize that what we're going to do is we're going to take the index, multiply it by a float, right? and that float will be you know, this value that we created, so mesh height. Right? So we'll plug that in. And now since we're concerned about you know, moving upwards in the, you know, the Z direction, we're going to plug in this return value to the Z. All right. So there we go. So we've got the basics working. So if we go to the viewport, we actually see, here we go, we've got our three pieces. Now you notice uh, my texture is pretty awful, so, um, and my UVs aren't made very well, so it, you know, it doesn't flow very well. Um, but you know, you can, you can refine that yourself if you'd like. Uh, but yeah, you know, you can see it's working. And so that's the, you know, the core concept here, right? So if you, you know, increase it, it'll add on, all right? So that's great. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to add on the bottom piece, right? So that it'll always be at the bottom. So we'll go back to the construction script, and we're going to take this and we're just going to move it out of the way a little bit, because um, we're going to have to use the return value of this transform multiple times, right? Next, we're going to take this and move it way down here, because we're going to do a couple different things uh, up in this space, All right? So first thing, let's drag off and let's create a branch, um, and with this branch. We are going to, you know, check, you know, some something, okay? And that something is going to be, we want to check if our index, right, the current index is the first index, right? Because if it is, then we will, you know, add that bottom piece. So we can drag off of index and say equal, and then you want to set it equal to whatever the value of your first index is, set zero. Okay, plug it in. And so if that's true, we'll drag off and we'll say add instance of ladder bottom, all right? For the transform, we'll hook it up to the return value of this make transform. Um, and we're gonna actually break this link because we don't want that happening. And then for false, we'll connect that down to this add instance of our regular ladder for now, all right? So it should look something like this. If we compile and save, go to the viewport, you can see now it's added that bottom mesh in, which is, you know, fantastic. That's what we want. Next, we're gonna add the top one, all right? So similar to how we you know, check to see if it's the first index, we want to check to see if it's the last index. Because if it's the last index, you know, then we know we want to have that top piece. So we'll drag off of the index and we'll say equal equals integer. And we want to see if it's equal to this value because this value is being plugged into our last index. So we can just hook it up like so. And then we'll drag off and we're going to create another branch. And I spelled branch wrong. Make sure you spell it right. And we're going to connect the false to the input. And then we'll connect this false to this add instance, right? But now if this is true, right, if, it's, if the index is equal to the last index, then we're going to add an instance of our ladder top, right? Just like so. Reorganize a little bit. And again, we're going to plug in the same transform. So compile and save. Now if we go to the viewport, you should see, there we go, right? It's adding it to the top. Now if I add, you know, if I increase the amount of meshes, it's still going to place it at the top no matter what, which is what we want. All right? Now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do one final check to um, kind of see where, where on the, you know, the mesh that we want to, um, you know, place those attachment points. So like where we want to place these little parts, okay? So how we're going to do this is, you know, back in our blueprint, in the construction script, we're going to use something called a modulus. And what a modulus does is it's a, it's essentially a division, 
but instead of returning um, the result of a division, it returns the remainder. Right? So it'll always get a value between 0 and um, 1 less than the number you're dividing by, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so anyways, we'll take the index, we're going to drag off, and we're going to type in the percent sign. And that's the sign for the modulus operator. So we'll do that. And now if you see, you know, it divides by 1. This is going to um, basically take whatever number this is, and it's going to divide it by 1. And whatever the result is, um, you know, we can check to see what that result is. Like if it's equal to 0, then, you know, we can add a certain piece at that point. Um, yeah, sorry, it's it's a little it's a little hard to explain without showing it more visually on like an Excel spreadsheet. So I might do that in kind of another tutorial to kind of explain indices a little more. Uh, but anyways, we're gonna do this every three uh, meshes, right? So we'll divide by or do a modulus of three. Um, basically, we'll check to see if this value is equal to zero, right? Because if it's equal to zero, then we know we're at that the the third mesh, and then we'll add that attachment point. So I'll drag off and I'll say branch. All right. And we're going to connect the false in to the input and then connect this false to our ladder straight. And now this true will go off to our add instance of our ladder attach. All right. So now you can go ahead and take the instance transform and again hook it up to here. And the reason I, you know, have it have them all coming from the same instance transform uh, is so that you know it, it keeps adding them in the order they should be because if you start using different uh, you know transforms um, it'll start you know adding instances in places that you might not want them so um, anyways let's go ahead and check it out in the viewport now you can see here it is so here's you know here's our first right here's zero um, and oh one thing I forgot is this modulus, right, the first one is a um, zero, right? Um, actually, never mind, this isn't relevant. And so this first one, right, is the first index or the zero index, right? So then the next one is going to be index, you know, two, or I mean, index one. And then this last one will be index two, which is, you know, our third one. Um, so if we're doing our division, you know, of three, that modulus, this last piece here will become. Um, an attach point uh, once we you know add more meshes so if I go ahead go to number ladder meshes change this to four um, oh I miscounted one last I think five okay that's my bad um, from the bottom right after the bottom then it'll start uh, counting up more so um, but as you can see it you know it adds it in there uh, which is great and now if we compile and save um, actually I'm gonna set this back to a default of three really quick. We'll go back out here. All right, we can drag in our ladder mesh. Uh, I'm going to, you know, orient it towards the wall. Move it up. And then if we start increasing, boom, it starts adding our you know, our pieces where we want them. So, um yeah, that's kind of the basics of it. Um I hope this, you know, has helped you guys and that you <laughs> like what I'm showing you. Um, you know, if you have any questions on this procedural generation stuff, feel free to ask. I don't claim to be a genius at it, um, but, you know, I, I, I'll answer what I can. So thanks for watching, guys, and if you like the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.